What is good? The number one Raiders show on YouTube. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Because I'm telling you right now, this one's for Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. We get the most views on YouTube out of any Raiders show ever. Ever. We're getting it. Make sure you guys follow me on IG or Twitter at MitchellRens365. Also, I'm sipping on some beer from Boulevard Brewing Company. Show a shout out to y'all. You guys want to crack open some rumors? You ready? Let's do it. All right. Raiders should sign Michael Crabtree. I told you I'd get to it. I told you I'd get to it. Well, guess what? I don't know if I've ever done this. I'm starting off the rumor show with a zero Chucky Heads. Tuck rule. Tuck that. And when I first saw this, when I first saw this come out from Clutch Sports, I was like, all right. Clutch Sports, you know, like, you're going to get what you're going to get from Clutch Sports. Now, we know that he was cut by the Ravens this offseason, and he led the Raiders in receiving receptions and touchdowns in 2017. Now, yep, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Exactly. Who is it? Yep, oh, now I see Clutch Points. Wow, even worse. Uh, He would be their wide receiver, too. Yep, guys, I can't read. Uh, this is part of it. And I was really, really upset that the Raiders and you know, Crabtree had a bad falling out. Now, here's the whole thing, okay? They start off this saying that Crabtree was really good in silver and black, and he was good with Derek Carr, and he was super durable. That's great. And when I look and see what Crabtree did in 2018, I actually think he did okay with a quarterback like Lamar Jackson, who, you want a crazy stat? Lamar Jackson set the single-season rushing yards or rushing attempts record for a quarterback and he started in week 11 on. Like, that's how much they ran the football down the stretch. Now, everybody's looking at 2017, and they're looking at 2016, 2015. He led the team with touchdowns in eight, led the team with receptions in 58. He was second on the team in yards with 618. Here's the thing, though, Clutch Points. Points. You lost me when you said Crabtree would be a better wide receiver, too, than Ryan Grant. Where in any world that we live in is Ryan Grant the wide receiver too for the Oakland Raiders? Like, did y'all just forget about Tyrell Williams? Like, I'm sorry. Ryan Grant is good. He's not better than Tyrell Williams. And if Michael Crabtree comes back on this team, he is not the wide receiver too. He is not ahead of Tyrell Williams. I don't even know if he beats out Ryan Grant at this point. You lost me when you said the wide receiver too for the Oakland Raiders instead of Ryan Grant. Y'all just forgot about Tyrell Williams, and it makes me absolutely sick. So clutch points, tuck rule, tuck that. Make sure you guys just follow us here instead. At Chat Sports, make sure you guys interact with me on IG and Twitter. At MitchellRens365. While you're at it, make sure you guys comment below. Should the Raiders re or should the Raiders sign Michael Crabtree? Because uh, I want to know from all y'all. Let's roll now to my next rumor. Raiders targeting Zach Brown. And this one's interesting. And I like Zach Brown. How many Chucky Heads do you think I'll give this one? Huh? You want me to wait? No, I won't. Three Chucky Heads. I think it's pretty likely that they're definitely targeting Zach Brown. It doesn't mean they're going to get him. Let's just pop the brakes. It doesn't mean they're going to get him. They are targeting him, though. And I still think it's one of those needs where he is a free agent at age 29. He's missed only three games the last four years. And when I look at the Raiders' linebacking depth chart, I still think that they're looking to add an inside linebacker presence. So, sure, you go out and get Vontez. You go out and get Brandon Marshall. You have to hear Whitehead, but besides those three guys, you don't really have a lot of depth, and I just don't really think that the Raiders know what they want necessarily in terms of the depth positions at the linebacking position, and I also hear Paul Gunther, he's chatting it up, you know, he's saying like, I don't know if I want to go out and draft a linebacker really high, so maybe now that you're seeing that the price for Zach Brown is a little bit lower, maybe you go out and try to get Zach Brown, or maybe one of these linebackers who are, you know, projected to be the higher graded linebackers in the draft, maybe they're gone. Like, if you're not going to get Devin White, Devin Bush, Mac Wilson, you know, you're really going to have a far drop off there. And I really like Winovich from Michigan. I think he's not getting enough love either. But I, I see the Raiders not really drafting a linebacker and potentially going after a Zach Brown. So when I'm talking about free agents right now, the top two guys that I'm always getting asked about are Ziggy Anza, and Zach Brown, which is exactly why I'm going to wait a second here. Wait, watch this. Bang. Should the Raiders type ZA for Ziggy Anza or ZB for Zach Brown? Which one would you rather the Raiders go out and target? Okay. So ZA for Ziggy Anza, ZB for Zach Brown. So if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, I want you to let me know. And if you want to know my honest opinion, okay, honest opinion, hit me up on IG or Twitter at Mitchell Renz 3 
six, five. Today's featured beer. Today's featured beer is a Saison Brett from Kansas City's Boulevard Brewing Company. I want to say shout out to them, cheers to them, and everybody who's watching the show right now, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to take a screenshot of this right now. Bang, okay? Got it. And I want you to tweet at them, Boulevard underscore beer. Give them a shout out for letting me get my creative juices flowing here. They're letting me drink on air, and I absolutely love doing this. And also, two Chucky Heads. This is uh, Bo Jackson's favorite beer, and I get that they're in Kansas City, and I get that it's enemy territory. But at the end of the day, if somebody's going to let me drink beer on air, cheers to them. And I think it's interesting because I went on Twitter. <laughs> I went on Twitter on National Beer Day, and I tweeted out, give me some of your favorite beers. So Brian took advantage of this, and he just slid right on in there. And go follow him at SunQ24. He said, at Boulevard underscore beer out of KC has many great options. Tank 7 Farmhouse Ale is my personal favorite. And I'm sitting here drinking the Saison Brett, and it is absolutely incredible. If you guys like a wheat beer, it's citrusy. It's got a nice head on it. Can I say that on air? Not sure. It's a really, really good beer, though, guys. I'm telling you. And it's strong. Like, it's 8.5 ABV. There is zero Chucky Heads that I'm drinking 84 of these bad boys. So first off, shout out to Boulevard Beer. I'm going to take a sip to them. And also, as Brett's uh, nudging me, saying his favorite beer boulevard if you're watching it's unfiltered wheat so maybe you could send some of those to us we would definitely appreciate it and it's saison brett named after producer brett that one's only one chucky head i think it's a small shred of truth so what's your favorite boulevard beer i want you guys to comment below if you've never had a boulevard beer get with the program so that way you guys can share beer with me i think it's one of the cool things that we do here at chat sports we sit here, we talk. I want my show to be like I'm sitting down at a bar with my dad, sharing drinks, talking Raiders. It's all good. So what I want you to do, what's your favorite Boulevard beer? And if you don't have a favorite, DM me on IG or Twitter at MitchellRyan365. I'm going to hook you up with some beer or at least give you guys recommendations on which beers to try. Sound good? Cheers to y'all. Elevate. Trent Brown will elevate Derek Carr just like this that beer is elevating my confidence right now. <laughs> and I'm going to give this one four Chucky Heads, and I think it's Believe It Baby. And when you go out and get Trent Brown, you sign him to $16.5 million a year, and he's going to protect Derek Carr's blind side. And the Raiders last year allowed 52 sacks, and I think a lot of it had to do with the inexperience of a Colton Miller. Sure, he was also injured. Brandon Parker, also kind of, you know, a little bit of inexperience. And a lot of other moving parts that I don't think we talked about as much in depth because the Raiders were battling some injuries. But you go out and you invest in Trent Brown, I think he will 100% elevate the play of Derek Carr. Because, Derek, you need to elevate your play. And you need to have, I'm saying, you're going to have to be around like 27 touchdowns. You better be around 10 interceptions, and you got to be over 4,000 yards. Or else, I'm sorry, I'm going to look at it as a down year. We invested in you this entire offseason. And I'm going to tip my cap to Mike Mayock for keeping his word because he has invested in the offense around Derek Carr. And he's going to trust himself and Gruden to build the defense in the draft. So, Derek, for Chucky Heads, this is your prove-it year. So, I don't care what y'all say. This is 100% a prove-it year for Derek Carr. So, a one word, okay? Can't cheat. Don't cheat. One word to describe Trent Brown signing. One word. Is it good? Is it great? Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully you come up with more articulate words than that because uh, this 8.5 is really starting to get to me. All right, need help at the running back position. I saw this one from fan sided, and normally anything I see from fan sided I laugh at, but this one's actually pretty good. I'm going to give it four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby, because I still think that the Raiders need running back help, and I get that they went out and got Isaiah Crowell. Nothing against Isaiah Crowell. You st they still need running back help. And I look at the comments that John Gruden has made recently, and he still says that the Raiders are looking for a three-down running back and a running back that they can rely on. And I don't know when I look at the Raiders' running back depth chart if there is a running back there who I can honestly say, yes, I rely on you. Isaiah Crowell is good in flashes. Don't give me the 4.8 yards for carry. He had over 200 rushing yards in one game and had just under 650 rushing yards on the season. Jalen Richard is a great pass-catching running back. He's okay between the tackles. Chris Warren, great in the preseason, but he's dealing with a little bit of a weight issue right now, and he's not responding to my tweets. And then Marshawn Lynch, Doug Martin, they're still free agents. Like, we need to still fill that running back position. It is still a big need, in my personal opinion, but guess what I'm about to do? I'm going to ask you all, because this show not about me. Do you still 
think the Raiders need help at running back. Okay, I want you to type H for help, or I want you to type G for you. Just think that they're Gucci, all right? And so, for me, I'm going to type my H for help because I do still believe that the Raiders need help at the running back position. Sure, they have bigger needs. But Isaiah Crowell, Jalen Richard, that's not quite the combo that I'm looking for in terms of being satisfied with the running back production for the Oakland Raiders. All right, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Bet the Asai, for hooking us up with the best promo code on the internet. Use it. Raiders 120 for 120% deposit bonus. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. And when you sign up and deposit, put some money down because you're going to get some money for free. You put down 50, you get 60 for free. Put down 100, 120 for free. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Shout out to Bet DSI if we're going to sell the best promo code on the internet. And look at this. They even hooked us up with some Bet DSI glasses. All right, I'm bouncing. Interested in Josh Jacobs. Running back out of Alabama. This one's three Chucky heads. And I think it's pretty likely. And again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at what John has said recently. And he's looking for a running back who is young. And has three down potential. And I think Josh Jacobs would be a phenomenal fit with Jalen Richard. Also, with the lack of depth here, I think at the running back position, I'm starting to see Jacobs slide a little bit in mock drafts. And I got my fingers crossed that he actually could be sitting there for the Raiders at pick 35. And I know Damian Harris had more rushing yards than Alabama. I don't care. And I understand that sometimes you look at past running backs out of Alabama, and people are like, oh, they're system running backs. Some of that is true. But watch Joshua Jacobs, and if you can tell me that he's not the best running back in this year's class, I'm going to send you a free beer. <laughs> like, I think that he's just by far the best running back. And Miles Sanders is good. Daryl Henderson, good. I talked about him. David Montgomery, sleeper. Damian Harris. But out of all these names, it's number one. Josh Jacobs, falling for that guy, and I would not mind seeing him in some silver and black. All right, you know what I want right now? I want some super chats to be flown in because when you super chat me, you're going to get on the show, okay? So I think that's pretty cool. When you guys do, I really, really appreciate it. And also, new rule. I've been getting a lot of super chats. So anytime now I get a super chat over 10 bucks, I'll give your own nice little shout out. And if anything under that, you'll still get on the show. But you want a personal public shout out? Super chats over 10. You keep going higher than that. So far, the record is by Daryl Anderson with 100. So he's hit me with his 20. On my last show that I did, Daryl sent this one. Dan, my condolences to your family. Raiders for life. Keith Killingskin, or Killing Sky. Uh, what up? Come to Oakland. We will drink beers, blaze, and barbecue. Barbecue, drink beer. One, four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. Yawning. He just sent me money, so I appreciate it. So what I want you guys to do for yawning, and the next guy coming up here, K Rock Hard. Now, I know K-Rock Hardy. He's one of my friends, so I hooked him up with this actual Twitter picture, which I don't normally do. So just saying, which, what I want you guys to do is take screenshots right now. And I want you to fill in the blank. What do you think K-Rock Hard would have said with a name like that in a $10 super chat? Let me know. All right, let's go to my last rumor here. Josh Allen to the Raiders. This one's fun, right? I want Josh Allen in some silver and black. I'm going to give this one two Chucky heads, and people are talking. And who's talking? Peter King. Peter King's talking, and... I like Peter King sometimes, <laughs> and he recently writes that he believes that Josh Allen will fall to the Raiders at pick number four. He says that he strongly believes that a team will trade up for Quinn and Williams because the New York Jets are desperate to trade down from the number three spot. That's interesting to me, okay? I like Josh Allen a lot, and I think his upside is immense, and I think he's a player who has an extreme upside because he shows his ability to learn constantly. So for me, as like a draft guy, or from an NFL standpoint, that's what I want to see. And there's a lot of really talented edge rushers in there. Josh Allen is our number two guy, right behind Nick Bosa. If you're telling me right now that the Raiders are going to be able to get Josh Allen at pick four, man, I would love that. And here's this. Look at this. This would be a beautiful depth chart with Josh Allen. You put Arden Key next, and then Josh Allen, Moe Hurst, Hankins, and then maybe we can even add another player into that mix of defensive tackle. The Raiders have a very, very young and upcoming defensive line. Oh, man, fingers crossed that Josh Allen comes into some silver and black. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.